here. What's a good job, ladies and gentlemen? King Squeeze, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's go, John, man. Today, we got Rapper's Most Disturbing Interviews. Let's see what the fuck we got going. It popped up. I was like, shit, fuck it. Let me see what we got going, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do music all the time. I'll be watching all types of shit off stream, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? Or not off stream, but like, you know what I mean. But, um, you know what I'm saying? So if I got any videos that be like this, you know what I'm saying? Informational, funny, interesting, crazy, should send them in. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get some up to it. One rapper almost oh, smoked the interviewer for oh, asking shit. him one question, and another died after his interview for speaking on a situation that happened. It, These are rappers' most disturbing and disrespectful interviews of all time. And we got to start things off with a rapper known as Baby Los, because Los started to make a name for himself after he linked up with the Island Boys in 2020, uh, and fans uh, considered him as the fourth Island Boy. Los was even <laughs> with the Island Boys. Wait, there's there's three. <laughs> the fuck. Oh hell no! Nigga said, "Nigga said the fourth island boy. One was already a problem. Two was insane. Three didn't even know. And that's fucking nuts. Four, help us." Him as the fourth island boy. Los was even with the island boys when they got into a huge fight in Hawaii. But recently, who a rich Kevin tried to get Los to speak on a viral video where the island boys kissed each other, and this hey, is what pissed yo. Los off and made him flash out on the interviewer. I gotta ask you, brother. Oh, them? Like, really? Everybody wants to know. Did you see the Island Boys kiss, bruh? I'm mentioning them dudes for real, bruh. Like, no, I'm just saying though. Like, no, did you bruh, see them no, do no, something? Oh no, <laughs> no, fam. Fam, they weren't gay when I was around, fam. They weren't gay. Like, bro, stop doing that, bruh. Like, this interview ain't about that. Like, it could go down in this interview, bruh. Like. <laughs> do you nah, want to go down to this interview? No. Do you want to go down? Yes yep, or no? You see how this bitch has stopped questioning? No. And thankfully, <laughs> Lo no. Sang popped the interviewer for asking that question. Because things could have gone horribly wrong. But he ain't the only person to up a gun oh, on an interview. Like... But first, let's move on to FBG Cash. Because he died okay. not too I long after cash. talking about something disrespectful that he did during an interview. In late 2020, Chicago rapper FBG Cash took a picture in front of King Von's mural to disrespect Von and his people. Not long after taking the picture, he went on No Jumper to discuss it. He tells Adam22 about the conversation that he had with Lil Durk before taking the picture. I'll what kind of conversation out. were you having before he told you to go take this photo? Me, you know, go, go over there and do that and see what happened to you. I'm like, I'm outside right now. You hit him up? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he, he was just he like, was hey, what's up? How, why, why, yeah. the, Chicago's so weird because the ops always be talking to each other and like going on live and tweeting at each other and <laughs> And doing this interview might have made things even worse than it already was because Dirk later dropped a song where he said, sneaking pics by Von Mural, like Lil Bro won't come out and spin, where he sent a threat to FBG Cash for taking that picture. Then, three months after the song was released, FBG Cash ended up getting hit and lost Damn. his life while driving on the south side of Chicago. Well-known Chicago area rapper was killed in a drive-by shooting early this morning. What the in fuck the is that wording? Well-known Chicago area rapper? Well-known Chicago area, I guess. Nah, it's just not weird. It's like, not over. 31 year old Tristan Hamilton was shot multiple times. According to the Sun Times, he raps under the name FBG Cash. A 29 year old woman with him was also shot, taken to the hospital in serious condition. Now let's move on to another FBG member known Butter. as Butter. Butter has had many crazy moments Butter. during his interviews. And recently, he went off on Oblock members for killing FBG Duck. He let Say Cheese know that Oblock told on himself after knocking Duck off. And it was pretty disturbing because. During the same interview, fans say that Butter allegedly admitted to killing someone. He told on himself, and they did an interview on top of the murder cop. You stupid. What Hello. about what about the picture that take went? Take me to jail. Give me so, the cups. Yo, Butter. What I about the what about the picture that went viral with Mu Wap wearing the, the duck sneakers? That's clown. That's crazy. With the what? same drinker y'all you? Uh, get a fair day evidence. That's the same. Uh. Homicide can't solve it, but the feds can, right? Damn. We talking real business. I'm a real street. But so this, I don't nah, talk that wasn't the same. 
on Sunday. That's in the document. Island. Not long after speaking on No Block, FYB J Main tells Butter to sit down and that he's saying too much because Butter says, picture him sitting on top of a car that he killed Odie on. I'm yeah, Butter, Sean. I'm Butter, Sean. Now picture me sitting on top of the car that I just Shut killed. The Yo, I got J Main in yeah, this. <laughs> I got four in a minute. Yeah, yeah, this thing is wild. But I also what? discussed Odie's death in an interview with Vlad. Here's what he said. Man, OD got black. Right, well, Odie Perry got killed at one point. They're saying that. I'm not gonna lie, I can't stand any of you niggas that, that be using that that sound. That that sound is so annoying, like y'all be trying to make shit spooky and shit. Like fuck nigga, I ain't here for that shit. Fuck. She was a shooter. That's the rule. I mean, it's it's footage. It's a video of Odie Perry getting killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's in this I ain't seen nothing, man. I just heard the story, bro. Okay. I don't be knowing nothing for real. You know what I'm saying? Not all the time. Okay. Fair enough. His brother told him to slack it. They told me. Oh, look, bro. I just gave back 190 years. I don't speak on that. Told him, Dave. I'm going right back to my break on my sister tires. Told him. Toe. Rumors say that female assassin known as K.I. is responsible for taking Odie Perry out. But recently, fans believe that Butter is the one who did it and is blaming his sister K.I. since she's already dead. Not long after Tuka lost his life at the bus stop on 63rd, the members from 63rd wanted to get revenge for Tuka since members from Oblock were dissing him. So not long after Tuka's death, a member from Oblock known as Odie Perry was walking around the neighborhood and decided to go to the store to get some Swisher Sweets. But not long after leaving the store on his bike, Odie ended up getting shot. So he fell from his bike onto the ground before getting up and trying to escape, but ended up getting hit 10 more times. A key witness at the Damn. scene told police that an African-American male was the one who shot Odie. But many oh. also say it was K.I. since she was seen posting pictures with one of Odie Perry's guns after he died. Popular 63rd member Wooski also made a tweet saying, shout out to them twins that made Oblock and tagged K.I. and FBG Butter in the tweet. That's why recently, fans believe that Butter is actually the one who took his life. But that ain't the only disturbing moment from one of FBG Butter's interviews. He recently broke down crying in an interview with No Jumper when talking about his sister K.I., saying how he'd rather for her to be fighting for her life right now rather than be in the grave. Fighting for her life, gang. That's it's real shit. It Every day I wish, like, why the thing ain't come lock her up, gang? Like, why y'all ain't come lock this girl up, gang? Every day I be like, Rather out to the grave because I be taking care of Quan and them phone Sunday. Like I be every day for I be on the phone, my little brother them for on to for I be talking to them for a day. I be like, for I wish this was my little sister I was talking to for on the phone on to the grave. I wish this was Kyra. I wish I was laughing with my sister for. I wish I was sending my sister this money. Yeah. I wish I was sending my sister these pictures of me at these interviews and on these platforms. I wish I was showing Kyra this. On to for that shit hurt my soul every day, every day. Day. Niggas be going through this shit, and then y'all niggas be glorifying it. It's like I'm saying, like like y'all niggas that don't be on nothing. Like it should be real, real. You know what I'm saying? Behind all this shit, like y'all niggas just need to stay in y'all lane, basically. That's 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 all I'm trying to say. This shit does not hurt. Like this shit is not it. I don't took it. Like, and a lot of people don't understand that because. A lot of time, everybody think a lot of be facade. A lot of, a lot of people don't even go through shit, man. Because his sister K.I. lost her life on April 11th, 2014. See, on that day, K.I. made a huge mistake and tweeted out her location for everyone to see, including her ops. As she was walking down the block with two friends who were headed over to the studio to celebrate Boss Trail's birthday until a gunman hopped out of a car, waved bystanders to get out of the way, and began opening fire at K.I. and her friends. Her two friends were hit, and K.I. was hit nine times. After being shot, she stumbled to a nearby home where she'd lay on some steps and take her last breath. And speak Speaking of K.I.'s death, a man from Chicago known as Trenches News says yeah, he was on the scene thing, when she man. lost her life. And he talks about how disturbing it was in an interview with Cam Capone News because he even claims that smoke was coming out of her neck during this incident. And did you hear the gunshots and everything going uh, on? Oh yeah, they sound like, they sound like something special. They was boom, boom, like it had like a, like a Star Wars before it said pow. Like it, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy as hell, man, that day. And then the police tried to lock up Duck. They told Duck he responsible for it. They just left K.I. on the ground. They ain't try to help her, administer no aid. They ain't try to do none of that. 
me and Joe Jackson, me and Manny, uh, FBG, um, Young, them daddy, we about to go to jail, cause we like, nah, well, let him go. So I went over there by KI. Smoke was coming out of our neck, man. It was all sad. Now, let's move on to BTB Savage, because some say him doing this interview with DJ Vlad is the main cause of his man. death, since he spoke on how he killed someone in self-defense in the interview in a cocky fashion. According to Savage, a local rapper had been trying to get a feature from him for a while. One night, the dude got in touch with Savage and finally agreed to do a feature. So later it's that night, the other that rapper situation. pulled up to his apartment with a car full of dudes, and the rapper came into Savage's apartment with another dude named Omar Richardson. Savage said he felt weird since both of them were looking around his spot when they walked in. But then Omar upped the bankroll, so Savage thought it was all good. The dudes then came in with a box full of studio equipment so they could get to work. But then the other rapper said he was missing a few things, so to Omar took him to go yeah. back and get it out of the car. Savage thought something was off, so we locked the door when the rapper went outside, and that's when everything went left. Omar started asking Savage about his jewelry, and Omar eventually upped his fire and told Savage to hand over everything. At first, Savage didn't want to give it up, but then Omar threatened to shoot Savage and his girlfriend. So Savage started taking his chains off. When Omar reached to grab Savage's chain, Savage saw an opportunity. So he wrapped Omar in his arms, fell to the ground, and they started wrestling. Omar's strap fell out of his hand, and that's when Savage yelled for his girl to come shoot Omar. She came in and popped him twice, but that didn't slow him down because Omar managed to get his hand on a gun and let three shots off at Savage's girl. Thankfully, all the shots missed, and Savage got Omar back under control. Savage told Omar to leave since his son was in there, but Omar didn't listen, and he told Savage he was going to kill him and kept fighting. That's when Omar's partners came up and started shooting through the door. But they didn't hit anything. When they stopped shooting, Savage's girl popped back at him with two shots. And that's when Omar's partner left him to die. Omar kept fighting, and Savage's girl shot Omar one more time in the torso. And Omar ended up passing away. Savage and his girl got off on self-defense. It was a crazy situation that took over the internet. Savage even went on Damn. to do an interview with Black TV, tough. and it hit 2 million lie. views in less than a week. But Savage's ops weren't happy about it, since Savage was talking cocky in the interview. Concerned that... His people I ain't gonna lie, y'all niggas are gonna weird, try to come son. back. Yeah, they for sure might do they might do what they do, but I'm gonna get active. That's all it is. And it is what it is. Then on March 30th, Savage posted pics on Twitter of him standing in a pool of dried shit. blood where Omar had lost his life. Savage shit? was trolling the dude, and the pics instantly went viral since no I ain't gonna lie, when I seen that shit. I don't remember if I seen it before he died or I don't know. He might have been dead by the time I seen it, but I was just like Man, y'all niggas move. Y'all, y'all niggas that move for the internet. Y'all niggas is really doomed, son. Like, <laughs> y'all, y'all can't even, y'all can't even accept y'all blessings. Y'all just, y'all do a lot. No one had ever seen anything like that on the net. But two hours after posting those pictures, BTP Savage was in his Mercedes driving around until two gunmen pulled up, boxed him in, and then started letting off shots. Two and by the time hours, help arrived at the scene, it was already too late. Some people blamed the interview for his tragic death, while it others blamed the, the picture, since the it's picture the was picture. very disrespectful, even though it was self-defense. But Savage isn't the only rapper who got disrespectful in an interview. It's for damn sure ain't the interview. That shit can roll a nigga up, whatever. But you posting a flick in the spot, so now niggas know you, you still around. Like, they can go searching for you. Like, they can go op hunting. Like, this dumb nigga try to blame the interview. This, regardless, whatever, whichever one you want to call it, it's on this nigga himself, solely. Like, yeah, none of that shit and talked crazy about someone that they killed. Because Gucci Mane did the same in an interview with Charlemagne. In the interview, Gucci showed no remorse to Pookie Lope, whom he took out, but says he does regret a lot of other things that he's done in the streets. Do you regret anything you did in the streets? Yeah, I'm ashamed of a lot of things. I'm gonna say, a, yeah, I did some things that, I'm, that I, I wish I didn't do. Yeah. I but I was young, I was young. But I, yeah, I did some things that Dead, dead nah, him with these shades is fine. And everybody in the neighborhood know that, so I ain't no going around that. Even even with the murder, even though it was self-defense, do you ever think about that? And you think like maybe I could have handled that different, especially when you did like the diss record. He did. He he needed to be in the ground. I put his. Oh. Paper on his. Because in 2005, okay. Gucci was beefing with Young Jeezy. Jeezy dropped a song where he put a bounty out on Gucci Mane's ice cream cone chain. The person oh. who handed the chain to Jeezy would get paid 10k. So a group of five unknown men showed up at Gucci's house and attacked him, trying to take his chain. He tried to fight him off and got a hold of a gun. He fired off one shot to get them off of him and ended up hitting one of the guys known as Pookie Lope. 
Three days later, his body was found behind a nearby middle school, and cops were called once it was discovered who was shot. Gucci turned himself in and told officers yeah, that he was. acted in self-defense. Now, let's move on to Lil Dump from the NBA camp, because he's he had a pretty disturbing crazy, moment yeah. during an interview with No Jumper, where he kept throwing up due to how many pills oh. he was on. Anything in particular nasty, stand out? Oh. Man, stop doing drugs, son. And fans in Adam 22 uh. were concerned about Lil Dump's health after seeing this interview, since it clearly seems like he needs some help because Lil Dump didn't even want to talk about why he puked on the interview. So what just happened? Hmm. What just happened? For some deep in life that, you know, I'd rather not talk about it, but I, I can talk to you about it personally as a person, you know what I'm saying? But so, you know, things deep in that hoodie clean as shit. Like I'm just talking about you like nice. puking or like the fact that you're kind of drunk, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> so what the drunk. fuck niggas talking about? I'm sober. You're sober? Are you? No homie? alcohol. That's not what's up in that cup. I just kind of assumed it was alcohol. Water. Oh, okay. So what are you going through? Got right him. <laughs> Got me. Check me. You trying to get clean? Hmm? You trying to get clean? Get clean? Off of some other. Yeah, type shit at the same time. Not long after this interview, Lil Dump was featured in another YouTube Poppy. video where he tells a girl it, he does more drugs than she could ever imagine. Why, why are you standing like that? That shit was not nah, yeah. nah, relaxed. Stand up, shit. you gotta be louder. Like, I'm high as I did more drugs than me too. That's not okay. At all. So hopefully, Next Dump gets the help needed. But now, okay. let's move on to NBA Youngboy, oh, because he also has himself. a pretty crazy moment during an interview where he gets pissed that the interviewer is asking too many questions. Some say it seems like Youngboy was also high during this interview, which is why he acted this way. But don't be a, 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 a dominant at the same Ain't time. Ain't he make a song right out yeah, the hop in the... And it comes to instruction too, because mm -hmm. I ain't going to time. You know, some can be spoke on why my is, is to be continued. Is in terms of like every time it's sometimes it's best not to speak on things you didn't. <laughs> Yo, hey, you talking too motherfucking much, man. He looked mad familiar. Is this? I can't, I can't think of who. Fuck, I was about to say the shoe shit, but I don't think it's the shoe. I think it's... Fuck. Nah, he looked familiar. I can't think right now, but he looked familiar. And sometimes, it's best not to speak on things you did in interviews to gain clout. Because that's part of the reason rapper G Money lost his life. Because NBA Youngboy and G Money were close friends. At one point, G Money pulled this move. Because in the interview with Say Cheese, yeah, nah, he, he says... He lie. played by the sister too, though. About his sister. Yeah, I had yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he, like he, he wasn't really tripping on it back then, though, you know what I'm saying? He'd be calling me big brother. And, and after they fell out, they were oh, dissing each other left and right. And the beef and things ended up getting so serious that it led to gun violence. On September 10th, 2017, G Money was killed after leaving <clears> the studio <throat> one night. Young Boy spoke on the situation in a song named Poor One, where he says, Matter of fact, I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some foul and had with my sister. Now, let's move on to an interview with 6 9 that's no, disrespectful bro, and that some say is disturbing, where he disses all of the dead rappers. Dot lacking, oh. Nipsey dot lacking, oh. Pop Smoke dot lacking. Oh. Right. Can't lack? No, you can't. All right, oh, kill okay. killed in these streets. All right, so there's nothing to talk about. So when you say yo happen to you, happen in pop. Those why are you jealous of yeah, But the 6-9 interview is bad. nothing compared to Charleston White's interview on DJ nah, UTV, Charleston in which he completely went off and poured out a strap on himself oh. for defending FBG Duck's mother and King Von's family. Charleston White tells DJ U that he doesn't care about King Von since Von was a killer. And that's when DJ U tells him not to say that about them. The knowledge I got, King Von was a killer. My mama had two sons locked up for murder, and my mama let everybody know I'm not in agreement in what my son's done. I ain't but look. So this is what I'm saying. You can't make me curl by King Von, my mama. 
Oh, oh now nah, he's on Y'all love his mama, I don't. Charleston then goes on to get even madder since he helped FBG Duck's mother and felt like he had the right to talk about her. But DJU told him to chill. That's when Charleston White completely flashes out and pulls out his strap on DJU. And I kill a behind me saying I done helped you. No. So somebody else helped your and I ain't down. He could have So y'all go help the since y'all got so much to say. <laughs> Yo, Charles. Give me back the money then. Slow down, homie. This I ain't have to help now for you. This nigga be glitching. My mama ain't got a bunch of kids that die. Buried your baby, all pain. Yeah. Out. Nah, I thought somebody like pressed him or touched him. This thing is just. Say, homie, you man, you better sit down, homie. What you mean? What I'm on? Don't me with a gun in my hand. Thankfully, Charleston didn't end up smoking someone during this interview <laughs> because things were pretty heated. But if you thought that was crazy, you got to click this video on the screen. Shut it's up. even better. Shut Trust up. Me. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. Not doing that. Not right now, I'm not. Okay, but I, I'll keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Big respect. My bad. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Damn, bro. A lot of crazy shit be going on. See, this, this, this is why I like... See, these are the type of videos I watch in my meat, like, in my spare time. So, like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all fuck with, uh, you know what I'm saying? Chilling with your boy, watching this type of shit and shit, let me know. But, um, yeah, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Link in the description, get in tune. Y'all take it easy. Get bit, 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 bit. Get bit.